Hey, what's up guys, Travis here. We're working in the garage today. We've got this brand new KTM 300 XCW 2020 model, beautiful bike. Just need to get rid of these factory graphics and add something a little bit different. Today, we're gonna show you how to install a graphics kit. All right, guys, so as you start working on a project like this, the first step is to go through and remove any uh, factory graphics, uh, little stickers like this stuff right here. Um, these are screen printed on, so they're nice and smooth, so you're gonna be able to lay it over that, no problem. All right, guys, so we need to remove this sticker right here using a heat gun. I usually set these on low, and you don't wanna melt the plastic here. You wanna just kinda work it around a little bit, check for temperature, work it around a little bit again, check for temperature. We're just trying to heat the glue up behind the sticker so it comes off nice and easy. Once the plastic's a little warm, it'll be nice. It's about 55 or 60 degrees outside today, so the bike's a little chilly. So we got that heated up nice. We're just gonna try and get the corner here. And a sticker comes off really nice and easy like that. Doesn't leave any glue residue, so we're good to go on that. Uh, next up, you're gonna wanna remove the seat here. So uh, we've already removed the seat bolt, so slide that back off, and it gives us a little bit more room to work. That way, when we put the graphics on, the graphic can come up and roll over the edge here and uh, adhere like it's supposed to, versus uh, having some weird edges and having to take stuff apart as we go. All right, so the first part of the graphic we're gonna install is actually a really big one right here. It's the shroud, and uh, so we're gonna be working on this area right here. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and clean this off. I like to use this from Maxima right here, their contact cleaner, and this goes ahead and removes any residue that may be on the plastic that's gonna keep it from sticking. So I'll get a little microfiber, give it a spray, and then we're just gonna kinda go through, rub off any area that we're gonna be working on here so that the glue and the sticker sticks to the bike and doesn't have any contaminants in there. All right, so that is prepped. The plastic's warmed up just a little bit. Um, like I said, I only warmed it up because it's about 60 degrees today. So now we're actually gonna take our graphics here and we're gonna start installing these. This being a little bit bigger piece here, I don't wanna expose all of the sticky all the way across the whole back. Basically gonna get just the beginning of it started here. So I'm gonna peel back about half of this and I'm gonna rip this in half just like that. That way this isn't sticking to stuff in the back. And we're gonna try and get this lined up the best we can here. Um, and the biggest thing I'm gonna focus on is getting this point right here, the start of this, lined up with the tip of this. So I'm gonna put that where it needs to go. And then I'm gonna kind of stretch this a little bit here. And as you see that, I'll come down, I'll come back off. So try and follow the factory lines a little bit. So it looks pretty good right there to me. This is going perfect. All right, I like that a lot. So we're gonna kind of walk our hands down the center here and do that. I'm gonna peel the front up and then we're gonna lay it down. So what we've done here, we've kind of have a rib or a spine down the center here so that everything's stuck that way. And then we're gonna kind of work our way out. At this point, I'm gonna peel this back. I'm gonna get the rest of this off of here. And then same thing. And you can kind of stretch this a little bit up and down to get it working for you. So I'm just working my hand down the center here, get a good line going. Just like that. And, all right, so right here, guys, you can see this is kind of flaring up a little bit. It needs to be down here to cover this. Like I said, you can kind of grab this and manipulate it a little bit. So I'm gonna go down a little lower here. And I want this to be right on this edge so that this graphic lines up with this one. Just like that. All right. And now we are good all the way through the whole center of this, all the way down the front. All right, guys. So we have the center of the graphics down now, all the way from the start to the finish. Um, so at this point, I'm gonna kind of start working my way up like this, all the way across. And you're gonna get a couple bubbles like these. I always try and work from the center out. And then same here, you're gonna work up and over. Just like that, and then down here. Just like that. And then down. I'm just gonna try and get everything started here. Then 
then some of the stuff like this doesn't want to stick yet because it's cold. So this stuff doesn't want to bend over too well. So I'm going to get our heat gun and this is very easy to put too much heat on. So we want to work nice and slow. You can put your hand next to it here. Don't burn yourself. And we're just going to kind of work the graphics around and just kind of keep going like that. Nice and easy. You want to make sure to keep the heat gun moving the whole time. Don't get too close. And just like that, she starts to come together. We're going to work this section next. So a little bit of heat up there. And then thumb across that. You want to make sure there's no heat wrinkles or anything like that. So front half of this looking pretty good so far. Once everything's stuck and laid down nice and smooth, I usually kind of put a little bit of extra heat on right there. Helps the glue bond to the plastic. Lets the material relax a little bit more so that it stays on. All right, so we're gonna move over to this section here now where all these spines are. This part's gonna wrap in, so nice light amount of heat on here. Once you get that done, start in the center once again, guys, up and over, fold it, fold it all the way across. That, work your way from the center out all the time. Just like that, that way you have no wrinkles in here. Nice, easy install of these. So everything looking good from the front to the back on the fairing here. And we're gonna go back now that it's all good. I'm gonna put a little more heat on it and kind of bake it in uh, so that sticker can relax. All right guys, so the shroud here came out looking really good. Nice, smooth piece, no bubbles or anything. So next up, we're gonna do that back number plate. So first off, just like the other piece, we're gonna go through and take our contact cleaner, spray it on a little microfiber here, go through, clean everything up so it's nice and easy. Um, it'd be better to remove this strap here, but I can kind of work around it, so not too worried about it. Got that done, so we're gonna put a little bit of heat on. All right, guys, so we have three things to line up on this fender here. Um, this one we kind of worked off the front, but here we got holes to line up, and we got Joe's head to line up. So as you see the graphics that are going on the bike here, you'll want to line those holes up, and you want to try and line up Joe's head. The tiger's all on one piece, so nothing too crazy. So um, I'm going to peel this one off all the way except for the back right here and uh, kind of start working this way. So I pulled off about that much right there. So I got back holes lined up pretty good there, front holes lined up pretty good there, and this graphic matches this one, be it numbers, designs, or Joe Exotic's head. So it's all the same when you're laying stuff down. And then once again, we're gonna kind of work down the center here. And then this bolt hole right here is not lining up perfect. So I'm gonna kind of pull this up and I'm gonna stretch the whole piece down a little bit as I go to install this one here and try and get that to fit. So you can see it fits a little better now. Um, this is gonna leave us a little bit of a wrinkle here. So we're gonna try and work this from the inside out. Just like that. So nothing too bad. And then we're gonna start working this up and around here. That's gonna need some heat to stretch all the way. And then Joe's eyebrow piercing there, looking pretty good. I like it. I'm not gonna get one, but I'll stretch that down a little bit there. And that's looking pretty good there. All right, so I'm happy with all that. I'm gonna peel the rest of this off. And then same thing, we're just gonna try and line this up. And we're gonna try and follow the center here of this. So there's this little bit of a groove. We wanna make sure to get that down since that's gonna be the lowest spot. 
pull the strap up and over. Just like that. Beautiful. And it looks like that's gonna tuck in up there. So one of these things, like when you have a hard line like this, up and over and kind of stretch it. You don't wanna have any air pockets in there. So we got a nice bubble in this section here. Um, not too happy with that, but we'll work it out. Seems to be going through nice and smooth there, guys. That is a good looking graphics kit if you ask me. All right, so everything's laid down pretty good here now. Um, we got a couple bubbles up here. This spot needs to be heated because it won't stretch down. So we'll pick up our heat gun. I'm gonna work this front section first. A little bit of heat on here. Remember, keep this moving. Start in the center, work your way out. Perfect. And I'm just gonna keep working the front half of this here. Now guys, if you're new at this and you haven't done too many bikes, there's a good chance you're gonna get some bubbles in spots like this. So there's a few things to do. Uh, Authentic uses perforated material so you can kind of work the material out and get the bubbles out of it. Um, but if you have something that's not breathable that you can't do that, get either like a small pin, take a razor blade, make a small mark, and then try and work it in, shrink that area down um, so that you don't have any bubbles behind it. Because if you have bubbles behind it, they're gonna rub through, they're gonna pop, and the graphics will probably come off uh, prematurely. So we're gonna go through, finish up this back section there, but for the most part, that's how you install graphics on a motorcycle. <clears throat> If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure to post up in the comments. Also check out our other videos and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, get out and ride. <laughs>